Okay, just getting out this morning. It is about 6.15 a.m. Uh, slight breeze on the water. I don't know if you can see that, but we're gonna be targeting pretty much anything of the inshore species, okay? We're gonna be going for trout, redfish, flounder, whatever bites. I'm gonna work a ton of points, use a lot of artificials, maybe switch to, to live bait. Um, I brought the cast net just in case it's a slower day, but hoping to stay with artificials for, for the most part. Um, so stick with us. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, it's going to be part overcast and the winds will be at least for the morning part and winds are looking at, you know, eight to 12 miles per hour with gusts of 17, 18. So try and stay out of the wind. Uh, they're coming out of the West and we're at a high tide now going to fish to until low tide. All right, here we go. Getting ready to throw out the first cast. And like I said, I'm just working points and grass banks. Okay. Got the mirror dying on here. It's MR17, it's a little bit smaller, it's a sus suspending twitch bait, obviously. Old school, but bringing it back, just messing around. So it'll sink, but it'll sink slower. I just like to do a twitch, twitch pause. Usually on the pause is when they smack it if they're around. Leave a little bit of slack in that line, very little. All right, I'm in an eddy right now where I'm not moving at all. Got a trolling motor off, no tide. It is coming out of this creek, but I got to find where they're at if they're in tighter. Out here in this little rip current, which I'll throw next, everyone. That could be a red. No, that's a nice fish though. Oh, he come off. Beautiful fish there. Okay, that's a good start. That was a nice hit. He smashed it. Jelly balls. Cannonball jellyfish is what they're called, but I like to call them jelly ball for short. There we go. That's a trout. Finally. Man, all those short strikes and finally get the guy hooked up. Decent little trout too. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Trout on the dime. Hold on there, chief. I'm gonna use the pliers just to be safe, but there it is. Got your dime, got your trout. Always like to use these long pliers, you know, it's kind of like a hook out with these, these treble hooks, but there you go. Probably a 15 inch fish, but a fat, probably a pregnant, pregnant fish. All right, that looks delicious there. Still don't see any bait moving. Waiting for that to turn on, man. There is a diamondback terrapin, which I haven't seen here on the intercoastal in forever. That's a great, oh, that's a fish. Nice trout. That's a great sign though with the diamondbacks. Yeah, this is a nice one. He smoked it. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Stay on there, brother. There we go. Like I said, they're a little bit bigger when you get them on these on these mirror dines. That's a, let's see here. That is a 16, 17 inch trout. Yellow mouth. Yeah, I was correct. That's a 17 inch trout right there. I'm gonna keep a couple for the table tonight. trout nice little hit maybe twitched it twice and he yeah nice twitched it maybe twice and he came up and smacked it all right here we go baby so the bite is steady 
It's just not, you know. Oh, there we go. Those trebles come right off. About 14, 14 and a half. There he goes. But also switch from the dine to a popping cork. Just going to test it out. The dine's been, they've been hitting it, but it's short strikes. And although they've been nice fish, it's just tough to get a constant, you know, I want to get them to the boat. So let's just see what they really are, what size fish they are here. So if I can get a couple with this, um, I may switch back to it. I just want to see if it's, if they're steady, they're all big fish. Um, when I say big, you know, 16, 18 inches, or if they're mixed in small ones that are hitting it too. So I'm just going to try and pop the cork a little bit, see what we can't get on here. Stay down, wind. Give me another hour, and I get off the water. There's a hit. There he is. That head shakes like a trout. I'm liking that. Come on up. Oh yeah, nice trout. Nice trout. Come here, brother. There we go. 15 inch trout all day. All right, guys, I don't know what happened there. My darn GoPro was off, but while it was off, I went back to check and I got this nice 18 and a half inch trout. Um, so sorry about that, missing the footage, but it's another great fish that was on the popping court, DOA on the popping court. We'll get back out there, see if we can't get another one real quick, then move spots. Oh, man, just as I picked up this spot and threw out a bait, threw a piece of that crab out that we caught earlier, I'm hooked up to something, but it's running like a shark. Oh, man. This little light action rod. I'm pretty sure it was a piece of cut crab, so it might be a bonnet head. Yeah, it's definitely a shark. Let me see. I can't see his face. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a bonnet. This is going to be a while, folks. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's a nice size one, too. I don't know that I'll get him in, but... Or that I want to. <laughs> but let's see if we can get him. I don't have a glove, because this is a decent size one on this little rod. But, so you can see him. There he is. Bonnet head. About three and a half feet. At least three feet. So my trolling motor cut out on me. And it's too low of a tide. It's a negative tide, if you can see that, to go in at the landing where I'm at. So I took that crab and cut it up and threw a piece out. And as soon as I put the GoPro down, of course, it gets hit right away by a bonnet head. hoping for a redfish but this is what we're working with right now got 20 pound leader on there and I had <laughs> I had a bottom sweeper on there but that thing's long gone I'm gonna cut him off when I get close here nice fish though bonnet heads are cool looking Member of the Hammerhead family. Got rods all over. I was trying to retie lures. But 
crowd going by now. All right. Get this guy off here. I'm going to cut the line. There he goes. Shoo. Okay, everyone, that's a wrap for today. Um, after we brought that bonnet head in, we actually went around a little bit for some spots. I'm not really a bait fisherman, you know, cut bait, live bait, whatever. Um, and we we ended up throwing a little bit, got broke off by something, and then I got a stingray. But uh, we had a fun day. We started off the day with the uh, the mirror lure which is great i hope some of you take more advantage of that that's a great bait for her to stay right in that level um you know right in that strike zone the whole time and then we switched to the popping cork and we ended up with about eight or nine trout uh, i even kept a few for the dinner table tonight all right take care and we hope to see you soon on the next video